soft skill is important because uh, when you don't have to think about the technical stuff first. You should think about the soft skill, which a lot of people suggested. So the first thing that I noticed was they say that you need to ha- uh, they will want to have a process. So this uh, one of the uh, person, right? They, w- they don't know what's the process and they want to know the process. So Trello, just nice, is one of the ways that I start my process. So what I do is when you open Trello, uh, maybe I'll share my screen. It'll be much better for you. Uh, Trello. So let me know if you can't really see the screen or something uh, so that I can like monitor the the stream better because I'm like multitasking all over the place yeah Trello so I will usually okay this is my board you can have a look so uh, I will usually have a lot of things so I'll put like to shoot on a videographer ma. so there's the to shoot to reply to edit and there's other things uh, like to promote pending completed and also like pre-production so what I do is I usually set like this chunk uh, and uh, I will write down then uh, like for example it's like today's topic right so this is the today's topic so can you all see the screen I'm not really sure whether you all can see the screen because it feels like it didn't went through so do let me know if you can't really see the screen because I'm supposed to share the screen eh, but it didn't appear on the stream that I'm trying to share. Uh, let's see. Let me give you all a few more seconds so that you all can respond. Hmm, it feels like it didn't, it didn't went through. Okay. Anyway, shouldn't waste too much time on that. Uh, Trello. So I just share straight here. Lah. So this will be the this will be the app. There's a there's a web based form, so uh no worries, you can still type in a computer. But this is the app that I usually use. So usually this is my like I will write like what my weekly contents. There will be due dates, label, members, and checklist. Uh, these are the attachment that I write the activities. So you know that you will never miss the uh, items lah, and you can even go in depth like uh. So for today's topic, right? Like I literally type out all the things that I feel that is gonna help with today's topic. So you can type it out. You can even have a uh, checklist. So these are like my sequence of like how I'm gonna uh, connect with everyone. So I make sure that I so I won't miss out anything. So the process of this uh, is generally like that. But uh, once you plan out you can just go according to what you have created in the chart. So based on the chart, you can actually uh, follow the sequence. Then subsequently, uh, when we talk about processing, we talk about like how you want to film and stuff, right? Uh, every time you have the description, right? Like all the things that we written down, you shouldn't write too detailed. It shouldn't be like a thesis. You shouldn't write until like, it's like, wow, you can do like a whole project out of it. Uh, you can write like bullet points then like a bit here and there so that you literally don't have to read out line by line because i know this is if, uh, if you read line by line it feels like you are talking to a robot so uh please take note of that and uh <coughs> when you start filming right you need to know like okay usually in filming way right there is a pre-production production and post-production it's very very layman term it's just like prep do edit so uh you just need to know like what's your prep so trello is one of your prep so go do, do and check out Trello. Then you can go uh, set that sequence up. So that's pre-production. You have to write down everything, the content. Uh, you, are you showing any clips? Are you showing any photos? Are you showing any videos? This one, you need to be very clear. Then you come to shoot. In fact, shoot will be the technical, which is what we'll cover later, the hardware and the software. You should you execute. Then later, you do the edit, the post product. It's also the software, but without the starting, which is the planning or the Trello, you really cannot do the no point doing the middle and the end because it's gonna take the most time. The Trello will take the most time. But actually, you'll be surprised. And the shooting actually takes about an hour or two. The edit is about maybe about two hours, three hours. If you are fast enough, it's about two hours. So, 
uh, knowing that that's the process. So I, I hope that covers the process part. At least for me, the process is like that. La. If you feel like I never covered enough or you still want to know more process, uh, maybe you can just write in a comment. Uh, please let me know. Uh, oh, anyway, talk about comments, let me know. Uh, my target for today's podcast is having five likes. So if you, if you guys are really here, please press the like button and let me know. Uh, what else I can do more to improve the today's uh, content? Uh, now I see we have two lights. Uh, we are three more to go to reach five. So whoever that's here, please give me a thumbs up and uh, you really help the algorithm in YouTube a lot. So the next one, I think I'm quite on time today. So uh, I can share a little bit more on certain topics. So the next one about the soft skill is about how to lead how to lead to convert into an email list like okay this is a very good question uh i got it from bbsg community so uh it was mentioned like she don't really know about the process of getting the e- like into an email that means oh thank you for the like whoever has pressed the like thank you so much so uh uh the lady asked, like, how can I turn it into, like, an uh, email list, like a content? So, I also learned it recently, or at least learned it this year, la, that email list is, like, go. It's like, wow, you must really, like, appreciate your email list because these are, like, your fans, which I agree. I strongly agree that uh, it's something that is good to have uh, and it's something that you can build a relationship with. Because also when, when times like this where you cannot meet people, email list seems to be, like, the best way to connect on a personal level, uh, you don't have to do custom email and stuff, but uh, she was like, hey, if I do content creation, right, how am I going to get the email list? It doesn't make sense. Yes, it doesn't make sense, but you have to build the bridge. And that's where the bridge come in. So first, use MailChimp. Okay? MailChimp is where you get harvest your email list. Uh, I believe you should, people that's watching should know. If not, I'll just type it in the comment. MailChimp. MailChimp So, okay, MailChimp is just an app that you can harvest la. So, uh, I wouldn't go too in-depth about it But uh, I would just say I think apps like this is even, is, is even on apps So, you can literally use it on an app you know, No excuse because No excuse to not use la, Because it's literally like right there So, uh, it's you just need to write up stuff then uh, there's a way to for free one no choice free one you just have to create uh, you cannot do like some features uh, but it's not really a, like deal breaker the features are more like uh, you can type in your email you you can only type in email template and stuff like simple email template you cannot do fancy email template so once you do that already then uh, you cannot do scheduled send so you cannot just like do seven weeks then later you can do but you have to send like you need to set your reminder tell yourself to send so for me it's like every Monday or Tuesday I'll send the newsletter to my email list uh, it's a reminder that I constantly have or it's in my head really to always send the emails to the email list so do take note of that uh, you should set a reminder so you won't forget but you can create your draft email first so you create like seven or eight weeks worth one shot then you put it there then you send to them so talking about how to convert, right? Use that as a platform. Then remember to always give value first. Like if you notice, like, I know what I'm doing. I'm being very transparent, and I I tell you like, oh, you join my email list, but I also provide value. So, but then giving value, you shouldn't be too like. You have to be genuine. Uh. You have to be really real with your, with your uh, with your viewers, like. Uh, I'm going to give you this set of value but on constantly very genuine like you really must serve the viewers first give them what they want so that's why I always constantly ask you guys like hey do you have any questions do let me know on the comment section uh, like you know constantly have this kind of value adding stuff I wouldn't want to just throw 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 our information but then uh, it must be valuable to you lah. if not what's the point right uh, so you do the content uh slowly is in the email listing you shouldn't just like throw in their face like hey this is the email list uh i wouldn't recommend like uh 
a bit salesy kind of taking email list. You know, some people they're like, oh, if you want this, uh, you want this cheat sheet, uh, then you got to register with me, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but uh, I would say just give it first. Give them first. And if they really genuinely want, they can register themselves. Or like, uh, it's a period building thing. Like. It shouldn't be like instant. Uh, and also BBSG founder Glenn, uh, his way of doing is also uh, quite interesting to me because I don't use that but his way of doing is using Eventbrite so uh, Eventbrite is a really good tool uh, if you are uh, if you like to speak a lot like you need to like you always do webinar seminar recently there's a lot so when you register you notice that there will be like email so when you're doing co- the content giving it's not about just social media creating for Glenn's way is webinar seminar so you do that they also will request for email ma. So that's where they got law. But th- the email list uh can the good thing about Eventbrite and MailChimp, right, is is synchronized. So when they register, right, your MailChimp also have. Like you can import into it. So you will grow your email list from there. Law. So this is how the content creation will link to your email list and harvest them. But it's not like an overnight thing. You like for me right now, uh I have like only double digits in my email list I'm still growing it and your email list doesn't have to be just content creation in future when this whole CV things die down right you can also share via uh, like when you meet people face to face you exchange name cards right this group of people where you exchange name is also important you can also use it to uh, save it and cluster them as like uh, maybe clients or you know, another group of people rather than just email list, but you can use them as your email list. So do think no, don't don't just throw away the name cards where you exchange and just write down on your phone then delete. Use them as your source also. Because they might be they all might need your help. Because you need to assume that everybody would need the item rather than just strike them off because of that you are just losing them. Okay? So that's the process that we are talking about. I hope that answers that area that we're talking about. Uh, finding a way to monetize okay another point is finding a way to monetize your content be it content creation itself all the craft what are the ways so um, monetizing is a step after you collect your email list so once you have an email list you have like a constant group of people that are uh, they are doing that right so uh, once you have them then wow, every time I see the comment section, I will, I will lose the thought, train of thought. So you, you have the email list, then maybe you want to sell a course. Uh, you want to do something related to um, uh, a paid a paid short course or uh, maybe just like a, a paid PDF or yeah, if you are selling a book, uh, you can do that. But most of recently, just a lot of things are actually just selling courses or like, or like selling your time. So that's how you convert or you monetize it. Uh, recently, there's a growth in membership, uh, but membership is a little bit more technical. I wouldn't want to go too in-depth because uh, it's a bit tricky. Like you need to form your own founders group. Then the founders group, you endorse, like a group of loyal fans, you endorse your product, which leads to more external membership. Uh, but it's not straightforward. But the most straightforward one is still like you group your email list, you still constantly give them every week, slowly build their relationship. Having an email list is like having a relationship. You don't straight away ask people like, will you marry me on a relationship, right? You will slowly like, you know, go dating, go pato, slowly build a relationship them. You propose a big question like, hey, I'm selling a course. It's an X amount. Then of course, if you find it's valuable, then it's good. Lah. Uh, back to the comment section. Oh, Super fun gamer, you know, you know Trello. That's good. That's good. Continue to use that. I only use it this year. I was I start, I regret like I didn't know last year. If I had known, then I would have definitely used it. So uh, so back to the topic. Uh, I hope that answers the monetize part. Uh, monetize part is really a lot. Uh, you can say anything once you have an email list. You have a of course, it must be relevant to what you are collecting. La. So, uh, if you collect the email list, then this group of people is via to know about your 
like your video marketing and stuff, then of course you, you will want to sell something that's more relevant. You can't sell something that's off. So do take note that you your email list shouldn't be any how do lah, but you need to make sure that it's more relevant. Okay. So um uh, another thing that is I'll I'll put together lah because the time is running a little bit short. The description and the titles. Like okay, once you have your content right, you notice that you need to still write the description and title, right? It shouldn't be just like straightforward, you know. Uh it depends on who you are who you are typing to or who you are giving this pro- content to make sure that the title description also gives value to your client or, or viewers because when you create this content right you shouldn't be or oh, like five ways to do this but then you need to when the person read right okay imagine you're the person that's watching the thing if you read will you find this valuable and if you if you feel like your target audience won't find this attractive then they will even click and if you just write five ways to write a blog there's like thousands of them you have to be more niche in your description. You have to be more niche on your titles. Like five ways to write a blog for small business owner. Ah, then you see, ah, the strategy part right is out. Business owner is more niche, so you are niching under the niche. So this niche right is very crucial because it literally help the business small business owner know that hey, I'm a small business owner, and I also need to write a strategy, uh, like a blog strategy thing, that will be helpful for me. You shouldn't just try to sell to everyone. In fact, you should try to niche down to the people that who you are selling. Even you can write how to write a blog for a female entrepreneur. Ah, then the group of people will be your niche because it's very, really specific to them. That's where they know that, hey, I am a female entrepreneur and I need to write a blog. That will be very helpful for me. So or when you think, right, try to have two layers so that you can filter into a niche group. And a niche group usually are more intense group of people because they know what they want. If you sell to the whole group of people, right? When they type, they won't really know what they want. Then what's the point? Okay, just a minute to drink. I've been talking for the past thirty minutes already. So, uh, if you are here again, just, uh, just say like, what is your strategy currently that you are doing? Uh, that is helpful for you within this CP period. Type it in the comments, ah, so that at least I know. While I drink my coffee. Hey, hey, Pan! Welcome to this podcast. You are a little bit late, <laughs> but it's okay. Uh, we are still in the middle of the interesting part. Uh, if you have missed out, Pan, I was saying like, ah, uh, do share about your own strategy on the comment so that everybody can like know. Everybody can like. Uh, know your own strategy then you can share like what works what doesn't work while I'm sharing my own also lah uh, I will want the community to be more active so uh, be better so we can all learn together and uh, also uh, we are trying to reach 5 likes in this video so if you are here hint hint please uh, give a thumbs up please give a like please subscribe so that I know uh, it will really help on the YouTube algorithm to get it out there to this information is not just for us but I feel that it's for everyone so do feel free okay while you guys are still thinking and typing what are the strategies that you guys use uh, I will go I've completed like most of the thing but the last part of the soft skills is actually on camera delivery uh, it's really crucial because now you're to- not talking to an audience you're not talking to like 30 people on the stage or something you're talking to a camera lens and if you are not very comfortable in talking to a camera, uh, very sad news to say that you have to get used to talking to a camera because uh, this nervousness, right, is very funny. And when you want to, when you gonna press the record button, right, or at least start a stream, right, there'll be like five minutes of jittery. Like you don't know how my hand was shaking, right, at the start of the stream, because I was so nervous. This is like the first time I ever do such interaction before so uh knowing it uh everyone will get scared so uh oh super fun gamer thanks man giving not just giving on the reaction uh but also give on the comments like mm, not bad not bad thank you thank you so yeah talking about camera delivery it's very crucial there's no way you can deliver something without you know talking to a camera you have to talk to a camera to get used to it you have to articulate because uh, offline articulation versus online is a big, big difference. Uh, 
you need to assume that you're talking to real people, even if it's a pre-recorded. Like, uh, the message also have to be edited. If you notice that most of the videos, nobody bother watching, like, I would say five minutes. I assume everybody's attention span is like five, ten minutes max. Then you'll switch off. So that's why I decided to go to a podcast where people will want to listen to a longer format. And I feel that I can share more. Because having a shorter thing still means you have to plan very specifically what are the values that you're going to give. But of course in this video, if I'm going to do a shorter form content, of course I'll cut into smaller chunks so for people to digest better. But the podcast is more of like really engaging. Lah. So there's different ways of doing uh, but the camera delivery is more or less the same. Uh, make sure that you are easy to understand. Uh, make sure that you uh, really know and uh, deliver. And when you finish your video, right, uh, do share with your friends. Let them feedback to you. Receiving feedback is important so that uh, you know that a normal viewer, how they feel. Will they switch straight to another thing? Yeah, so, oh, receive another like. Thank you. Okay, let's go back to the comment section for a while. There's always a start. Just do it. Go. Yes. So, agree with fun Gamer. Very nice to know. Yeah. You really had to just do it attitude. La. I think that's the last part of the soft skill, which is the just do it attitude. Uh, it's a very f- friend of mine that wrote on the Instagram when I asked him this question. He wished that he can just do it, uh, which is doing he's doing right now. It took him a little bit of time, like two, three months. He had this idea for, since last year, but now they start doing podcasts. Uh, welcome to welcome him uh, to be able to start his own podcast after three months of planning. Uh, and I was lucky enough to be the invited guest. Lah. So thanks for inviting me, Kong Hao, for your podcast. I'm really glad to be part of the process. Okay, so we have about half an hour left uh, and we're going to talk. Since we've okay, finished the, the soft skill part, which is very important, I hope you guys are writing your own notes or like having your mental note. This is, this is quite a lot of things to cover. Uh, but let's uh, play some music so that you guys can digest first. I wouldn't want to like throw information out there to make you guys like check uh, check out. But I'm just one more like to reach five. I hope someone will come in and save me with that one more like. But <clears throat> if you are here and you still miss just now that content, uh please do subscribe and like. Uh it will really help me a lot uh with the content that I'm trying to churn out. Lah. And also we have the email list uh, that if you guys are interested to know every week uh, good newsletters, I will always write uh, things that I've learned like the past week. Uh, it's not something that I really... Sometimes I even learn things like recently that I want to share. Uh, like recently the CP period, then there was this contract clause regarding like uh, things of like uh, what if couples cancel your thing and stay away to do like refunding you have to know like what are the things that you need to change in future so that you won't get affected by cancellation or like you know there's a lot of couples asking for cancellation clause and stuff and if you're not ready then you might got affected by the legal suit lah. so it's important so uh, do uh, subscribe to the email list if you are keen to know more of such things I would want to uh, connect with you on a different level lah. Okay, so back to the topic. Oh, speaking for half an hour is quite shag. It's quite a tedious thing. <coughs> okay, now go to the next one. Okay, I think we go to the software first. Yeah, we go to okay, we go to hardware first, then we go software. So, cause hardware it will link to software naturally. So, no, this way. Hardware. Hardware is important, <coughs> but it shouldn't scare you, because frankly speaking, right, uh, the hardware we talk about is your phone. Uh, you can't go wrong with phone. Uh. Uh, as a videographer, I'm not shy to say like some of the projects where, in fact, some of the shots that I shot, ah, uh, not all are from a proper camera. Some are actually from a camera phone. So, toy behind energy. <laughs> got it, got it. I'll try my best, super fun gamer. Uh talking straight to the camera for like half an hour really take need to take a lot of energy. 
But glad that I have this reminder because I myself also find my uh, I can't really talk in high energy for quite a bit of time. But I'll do my best. Thank you for the reminder. I think I should shut up straight so that I think uh, it'll be better for me when I'm talking to you guys. Thank you for the reminder. So, camera, hardware. Just use your normal camera. Uh, I believe most of the camera now have 4K, have HD. It's very easy to have good quality content. Oh, not say content, uh, good quality image. Uh, but you still need to do the content creation itself. So you have no excuse to say you have no hardware. Your camera itself can do. If you're using an Apple, I hope you guys are using Apple, you can literally airdrop it into your iMac or your Mac computer. If you're not, you can also transfer ma, through the USB. So you can literally transfer all the hardware. So the hardware part is there. But um, now I'm more concerned about is the audio. So... What should you do as audio? Ooh, five likes already. Thank you very much. We have hit the target. That should do the air horn. Okay, so uh, what I would recommend is your lapel mic. Then you are asking like, what the hell is lapel mic? Uh, actually, it's just your normal this kind of earpiece, this kind of headphone. What you're hearing now is actually not this lah. I'm just just my earpiece to monitor the audio, but. I'm using this condenser mic, but you don't have to go to advance. I uh, wouldn't want to rec text you with all the lingo, but you can just plug this into just your normal phone, The this part. <laughs> then you can talk through that because uh, so you can just film yourself with the earpiece. It's really good. Then you can literally hear, uh, you can literally like monitor and, you know, record through. So, um, because most of the things are talking, ma, so if you need to, uh, if you need this kind of, uh, you don't need to go to advanced, uh, lapel mic can actually work better, uh, but uh, just make sure that you are speaking clearly so that uh, people can know what you're talking about. Uh, that is just the more layman one. Uh, you can try it yourself, then uh, you can just try to talk. Now you can have energy perker. Wow, okay, there's more people cu coming in. Give me a second to check. Can you do that louder, please? Just speak normal tone. Only at my loudest setting. Just normal speaking tone only at my loudest Okay, I will try. Uh, For my side, okay, this is like the maximum I can I can jack up. So, uh, would try my best to speak as loud as I can. Uh, it might be because just now there's music, so it might muff out my voice. Uh, but I'm trying my best uh, to place it as close as... Oh, that's, some, that's another tip though. Uh, the audio part, try to put it as close as your mouth. Ideally, it's about 3 to 5 cm away from your mouth, um, which is around this distance. Lah. Yeah. So this will have better audio. Because uh, for this... I think it's really max. I, I I can't jack up any higher, so I apologize. Uh, if you can jack up on your end, that would really help. But I really apologize for that because uh, technically this is my first time doing this stream using this application. In future, I might share like this live stream because it's really good. Uh, it has everything that you need. I can monitor chat. I can do sound effect. I can do layovers like this. So I think it's quite helpful. Uh, but I'll share more in future. So. The hardware part basically is there already. Like you shouldn't have any excuse of not film filming. I think that video is the next thing in line. Photos is a little bit died down already. Uh, but you can still do. Not saying that you can't. Just saying that video can translate more and it'll be better. So we go to the software. Uh the software we are talking is more towards content creation. So, uh, because since you really film, you take photos or whatever, then you need two things, which is the editing software and also the thumbnail. If you notice most of the things that you want to post on video, be it Instagram, Facebook, or even YouTube, you notice that they will ask you for a thumbnail. And thumbnail is really important because uh, how can you attract someone uh, if you don't... Uh, if your thumbnail is not attractive enough, who would want to click? So it gives your... Okay, so no matter how much you do, uh, your content is so well done, right? But if you don't do your thumbnail or your title and description, like just now what we did the process, you don't do it well enough, right? 
then you are losing half the audience or even more. Because statistics shows that uh, having subtitles on your video or having good description and whatever increase about 10 to 20% of people likely to click. We In our lingo term, we call it the click rate. So how well your click rate, right, is depend on how how attractive your thumbnail and description it's not even your content if you notice it's not even your content it's how you write your summary or your headline if you notice that like, you read news then if you, if you see an interesting article right, you highly likely you click so all you want to do right, is to lure the, the people using thumbnail but of course you don't click bait uh, click bait is something that I s- would say no no try to be as true as what your video is about like today is about how your content can uh like today's topic is really about like the what's that one thing right but I split into multiple things because I asked a lot of people ma, so it came out with a lot of like uh, chunks but I wasn't lying it was still a lot of things but it's still that one thing what feel that is important to you might not be feel important to another person so I wouldn't want to like bash down and say like there's only one but there's quite a few so knowing please t- make sure that you are doing good thumbnails and how you do good thumbnails is actually through this app called canva so this app is really good uh it helps you create a uh, good thumbnail without using too much of your brain power uh, so if you can see they are they have ready templates uh, they have custom thumbnail you can do insta story instagram normal post uh, logos you can do Facebook thumbnails you can do your own uh, Twitter so you can literally type down like maybe uh, you do Facebook you type Facebook type Facebook ah. see they have the recommendation was Facebook ad so imagine you want to do a Facebook ad see so many templates ridiculous and it's free. You can literally use it. Like even if you are not a designer or logo designer, right? You have no excuse to not do a good thumbnail because they literally give you a platter full of this thing. It's ridiculous. Like you don't really need to hire a designer or logo, like a brand motion designer. Literally, is on your handphone. But I would say, after a while using Canva on the phone, it's a little bit lag. I would suggest you use uh the go to the website itself canva.com you can literally uh, I type down on the website I'll, I'll, I'll turn on the comment use this canva you can just go to their website and create it's much faster because your finger you can because my finger is very big so I, when I press right it's like always merging uh, it might not reach the the right space so uh, need to make sure that you for if you want the ease of use right it's actually better and faster to do on the website itself so hope that helps uh, so uh, that is one app to do very good thumbnails photo p i'm not really sure photo p though but uh, i personally like to use canva a uh, good suggestion good suggestion super fun gamer uh, I'll, I'll, I'll check it out uh, and see what what is that uh, but mostly it's another photo editing app uh, but the good thing is Canva is very flexible. There's a lot of things you can do. Uh, uh, it gives you a lot of option varies from... Uh, I was surprised how flexible it is. Like, I can literally do all my artwork uh, from podcast, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Instagram story, logo. So if you don't have a logo, this is a great chance to use. Like, you don't really pay people. But of course, if you want, like, more atas one, yeah, it's better lah. So, Okay. Photo P is like uh, is Photoshop and it's free. Mm, okay, for people they are more technical savvy, then yeah, Photo P will be a good thing because you have more, you can custom more stuff, you can add layers. Yeah, do try if you are you are more technical savvy person. Uh, today we are more talking about the more layman uh, so uh, I would say try to uh for my my objective is to help people to attain as fast as they can like during this period so that they can they won't do they, they won't dread they be like wow so hard to do but i want them to like get motivated and really start doing because it's really very easy just take a lot of time a lot of effort yeah so 
Oh, thumbs up from Sean. Thank you very much for that thumbs up. So, one okay. So, thumbnail no excuse ah. The next one I'll go through is the video editing. So, uh, GoPro has an app. It's called. It's called the Quick. It's called Quick. Q U I, Q U I K. Is it? Let me check. Okay, I'm not very good. The spelling was yeah, Q U I K. So this app. Q U I K. Oh, oh, so fun gamer. You're a P five student. Oh, great. <coughs> Means means you are quite technical savvy. You are actually among the top of the people already because, uh, still there's a lot of people not really sure how to do. Um, but it's good that uh, there's more platform that you guys. Thanks for sharing though. Uh, it's really helpful that you can give your valuable opinion. That's very good. So another app is called Quick. This one is really uh for people that really don't know uh, zero percent of uh editing stuff video editing. I think it's one of the better apps because uh, you can literally create <coughs> short videos, 15 seconds. Uh, so depending on what content that you are filming, <coughs> you can choose. So for example, I just choose like uh, two things. You pick two of your... So the blue highlights are actually the ones that I chose. Then you just press add. Then you literally have like different formats. So they even add music for you. So these are the different format. So this is just one of them. So I change to another one. See there's like you can change the words. Yeah, they will do simple editing for you. Then you can literally export right away. You can save and export. So if you have uh wordings to use, uh this is just one quick way lah. So that's why the app literally is called Quick. For my end, why I recommend is because I need to uh, I need to assume that you guys never use any editing software before. So why I suggest is because this is more straightforward. And uh, to make it like you literally have no option for you to say no because it's so easy to use. I use it in the past, but not now. Of course, you don't have as much customizable thing that you can use but uh, it's just one way that you can get your message out there so if you want to sell something you can write some text then you can just show the product there's also one video uh, but you need to make sure uh, though you are selling stuff you are selling a product selling a service you still need to give value to your viewers so make sure that whoever that's watching understand your value because if you don't correlate that it's very hard to it's no point creating so you need to make sure give value first do the video that gives value, not you assume that it's value. Because it might not work, it might burn out. Because I did that way and it doesn't work. Shortcut, okay, let me see. Shortcut, another video editor and free. Okay. Key sun, quick is easy to use, but always hang on my Huawei phone. <laughs> okay, uh, I only tested on Android. Not, not Huawei, uh, I mean Android like Samsung and iPhone. These two seems to work. Um, work well lah. To be fair, I need to try this too. So other phones, I might not be very sure. Uh, but I will say, why I choose this as the software is because it's on the phone, and it's also on your web. So it's why I chose is because it's able to sync. So even if you cannot edit on your phone, you can do it on your web web page on your web page. Just Google it, you can find it there. So if you find your phone always hang. Uh, do try to use the web version and export it out. It will still work. Uh, so basically, it's just really made. Uh, and I like platforms that have both phone and web so that you have no option to not do. Okay. So I have covered that. I hope that helps. Uh, another thing about software is your platform. Where are you posting? So I always ask my client this question. Uh, I always ask when uh, the first time I meet them, I'll be like, okay, so where are you posting? When, how long, how much you're going to post? What is the business objective? Uh, you need to know all these questions. When I ask these questions, right, it's not asked for fun. 
uh, when I ask this question, it's really understand the company's marketing strategy. I always tell my, uh, I always tell my clients, I don't do uh, that. I, I don't do a real project that is off your marketing campaigns or whatever that is way off because it doesn't make sense. It has to, it has to connect with your business strategy. Are you doing brand awareness? Are you doing, are you harvesting brand awareness? Are you harvesting uh, brand identity? So you need to know very well, like, this quarter, what are you aiming at? Like for me, this quarter, I'm trying to build a community. So everything I built from here is actually that, towards that. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be like, oh, I want to do this and I also want to do that. Try not to split yourself too far out. Make sure that you have a very clear objective goal. What is this video about? What value I'm giving and why I'm doing? You need to be very sure of these three points. If not, uh, you will feel very easily burnt out. You won't want to do because it's very dreading. It's very tiring. I'm simplifying the technical part so that you can easier for you to commit and go. So you can spend more time figuring out like what content is better, what works, what doesn't work. And the only few ways is try. If you don't try, you won't know what's the result. Like you can go and research all you want, like what type of video will work. But if you don't do, your viewers or your community won't know what like what you are doing, what you are selling. You don't video take your your uh, product, or you don't show like the space that you are selling. How will people want to? Uh, uh, actually, like okay, if you don't do, who will want to reach out to you? Like you are you are not publicizing anything. Like some of this is free. The platforms are free. Like the organic reach are there. You just need to be constantly appearing in the people's screen. Your job is to make sure that everybody can see you through this. Not being salesy, lah, of course. So need to make sure that uh, you are doing that. If not, uh, is a strategy that is not very strong, foundationally strong. So you need to know uh, your platforms. So uh, how long should a video be on Facebook? How long a video should be on Instagram? Ideally, if you are doing Instagram, I would say a minute is the best. You can stretch your a minute 15, a minute 30 then uh, that will lose viewership because Instagram is so easy to swipe. So if you take too long, you don't give value, you don't give the wow factor at the start, you will lose your audience naturally. The next platform is Facebook. Uh, you know, uh, the ideal number now uh, based on research is about a minute 45, a minute 30 is like the sweet spot. Uh, but Facebook is very weird. Facebook now give priority to videos that are three minutes and longer. So, need to make sure that uh, are you targeting the people that short short attention span or people that willing to watch longer? Because Facebook rank longer videos more this year. So, if you want to do longer content, it's possible, but you need to make sure it's subtitled. Why I said that? Because subtitle people cannot press the audio first, one. They will see the video first, then later they will see the words. If they see the words, then the words doesn't really connect to them. Like, they don't, you don't write the real juice of why this video is good. They will just continue. It's very easy to exit. If you notice, it's very easy to exit. And this is why we want to make sure that the person write three seconds, they already know like, exactly what they are watching. If not, they will just leave. Or they don't even leave. They don't even get the chance to hear you. So audio, though, is important. You need to make sure that it links with your the thing that you are doing with subtitles or at least some headings like if you notice that a lot of Instagram they do a one by one ratio like a square video then on top of the square you will see like a headline like uh, types of people that are uh, or the uh, three stupid things people do then it's if, okay, if, if, if it's a comedic angle then you will like hey I want to see like when I see that hey what's that three stupid people like then you will press ma, then you will watch the video it's not even about the audio, really, if, you, if you notice. It's not even about the visual. It's just the title change that increase the odds of your video being clicked. And this is why you need to do that synergy. The synergy is very important. Yeah, the title description is equally as important as the rest of the things. Okay, so... Yeah, uh, so these are like the three main chunks. The hardware, software and the soft skill uh, not bad I can I actually clear within close to an hour I managed to finish these three main sector of the video uh, and I hope 
everybody can like like really wrote it down and like refresh your strategy on like how it works and uh, how well you can like <coughs> better your your creation because you need to know like this process so the process you need to know the process you need to know the technical so these are the two things I really really give you already so you have no excuse to not try but I do hope that whoever is watching right now uh, give it a shot uh, give this week like you give yourself until this end of the week to create something uh, it, and you need to know uh, you can just do it now but it might not be the greatest work you need to have that kind of mentality like it, it won't be your greatest work just churn something out send it out send it to your community create send it to your community don't just post it and just hope things will happen uh. you post it you send it to the right people that needs help or send it to the community that feel like will absorb your, your things better then you see what people say and that's where you improve the more to do the faster you improve. And that's something that uh, there's no easy way. Lah. Because that's how I learn. Like, even I learn live streaming, I also h- help to live stream myself, uh, live stream other people, so that it helps me to grow. And if I keep articulating this, it actually becomes better for me to bring value to people. And I hope today's uh, topic help. But before we end, I uh, just wanted to kind of uh, re- reiterate uh, some, some points. Lah. Like uh, I wanted to kind of uh, add in one more thing, which is uh, for next week's topic. So uh, I'll be talking for next topic, but I will need to harvest your opinions. Whoever that's watching, uh, do write in the comments. I'll check out later. Uh, is what is your top tip to help F and B's owners uh, right now? <coughs> so top tip to help F and B's owner right now, as it means. If you can give me on the comment section or if you can give me through DMs, let me know what's your top tip to help F and B because you we all know not F and B got hit the hardest the hardest apart from tourism. F and B is quite jealous. So do you have any tips that you can share? Let me know. I will share it out to the community and we will have like a correlated thing. You are the first few people that uh hear about this question. I haven't posted it out on any platform, any community. So if you guys have uh, let me know what is your tip what, How can you value app to them So that I can call it again Share with the group Oh nice one Pan Yes for sure we will do a podcast together <coughs> I haven't had a chance to talk to you But uh, I hope uh, We have this chance to have podcast together But uh, <coughs> Oh my god my voice dying Okay so Apart from that comment You can do right down uh, do let me know I will just want to f- clear up a few logistic wish please do subscribe if you can please like this post it really helps a lot uh, in terms of like algorithm and stuff and also uh, uh, if you are okay uh, if you really want to learn more uh, here is the email list do join because uh, it's very crucial for uh, if you want to learn and you really want to bring value to people uh, you want to grow in the community This is the best chance Oh and talking about community There's one more thing I never share Which is we have a Facebook group So uh, I just want to paste it all here lah. Facebook group is where I get all the community to share their tips I also share things there uh, If you want to share your own on like Not just here but you can just share there This is a Facebook group that you can uh, share with your You know you can just join Help people, help yourself also. So, uh, oh, GLC TV. Hi, Glenn. Hi, Glenn. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm really glad you can join us this morning. Uh, I, I did share your tips though, so uh, I, I hope that helps everyone. Uh, thank you, Kisan. Thank you, Pan. Thank you, Glenn. Uh, thank you, Super Fun Gamer, uh, for joining me. Uh, please do join the Facebook group and the email list to know more, like and subscribe. Uh, and that's about it. I, I, I hope that uh, gives you a good glimpse of today's episode. I hope everybody enjoys it. Um, I I really want to see change. La. Like Whatever I teach, I hope that it brings value and you can apply straight away. And if I can see, tag me if once your video is done, tag me once the photos are done. It doesn't have to be complicated. 15 seconds is better than nothing. So I want to motivate you guys to do it. Please do it. Uh, and uh, 
I'll just leave it here. And yeah, if you get anything, just please do write in the comment. Uh, I will definitely see. Yeah. So uh, this marks the end of the episode. And I will see you the next time. Bye. If you are still here, just say bye. <laughs>